Windows Server Core Edition. I'm going to go over the process for installing the Core Edition of Windows Server 2022. So far I've just booted into the installation media and the first window is to set the language and the regional settings. So I'm just going to select them and press next and then install now. On the select the operating system uh, window we're going to select one of the versions without the desktop experience. I'm just going to use the data center version. Without the desktop experience, this uh, emits most of the Windows graphical environment. And to manage it, you have to use Command Prompt, PowerShell, or with the Windows Admin Center. We're going to agree to the license terms. Select a custom install, and then select the 40 gig partition. This version of the operating system is extremely lightweight, so it doesn't install quite quickly. Once the server reboots, we will have to set a password. So just press OK and then enter a password. Password has been changed, press enter to OK. Once the server is logged in, we will be greeted with the sconfig screen. So this is how uh, you do some of the basic configuration on the core edition of Windows Server. Now the first thing we want to do is give it a computer name by pressing option 2. And then we can simply just type in a new hostname. Uh, DC and then we'll just press no to restart and do that in a minute. We will then go to option 9 to set the date and time. And we'll just select our local time zone. And then the last thing we want to do is the network settings. Select our index 1 for the network adapter. Press 1 to set the network adapter address. S to set it to static. And then we will give it an address of 10.0.0.2. 255.255.255.0 subnet. And a gateway of .254. Uh, successful and then press enter. We will then go back into network settings with option 8, then the adapter with option 1, then option 2 to set the DNS server. Preferred DNS server we will give 10.0.0.1 and then a blank alternate DNS server and then enter. All we need to do now is go to option 13 to restart the server to so apply the new host name. So let's do 13 enter then yes and then the server will reboot uh, that's all that is needed uh, to get the base install of windows server core installed